Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new here, then my name is Darshini. Welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this glam makeup look for beginners. This is very easy enough to do and I'm going to give you several tips and tricks along the way. So watch until the end. And I'm using all the affordable drugstore products so that you guys can get hands on easily. But quickly before moving forward, subscribe to my channel and join the divine fam. And without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start with skincare first. So to begin with, I'm going to use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel with Hyaluronic Acid. And to hydrate my lips, I'm going to be using the EOS Lip Balm. Next step is to prime my face and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer Water. This will prime your face for the foundation which is coming up next. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation in shade Sand Beige. I have recently got this foundation and it is medium to full coverage uh, gives natural finish to your skin and it's long wearing as well it is really easy to blend and uh, um, i am liking it actually and to blend this foundation i'm going to be using the kabuki brush by do color you can apply this foundation with damp sponge as well if you want more natural coverage Our goal here is to even out the skin tone by using less product and as you can see here my skin looks so natural I can still see my skin peeking through and this is what I want for this look. Next step is to conceal and for concealer I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in shade Medium Sand and I'm only going to apply a little bit around my eyes around my mouth. You don't need too much so don't go overboard with it. And you can apply this uh, with your finger brush or a damp sponge. Damp sponge will give you more natural coverage than brush because it tends to observe the product. This concealer is very very hydrating around the eyes so if you have fine lines or a wrinkle around the eyes then this concealer is really good. Now to give structure to my face, I'm going to be um, using the cream contour which is totally option if you want to skip it. And the one that I'll be using is Wet n Wild Contour Stick in shade Call Me Maple. If you want your contour to stay put last longer then add this step to your makeup routine. I'm going to contour around the forehead hollows of my cheekbone and my jawline. If you have large forehead then you are going to apply contour on your forehead to make it look smaller. If you want to define your face, if you want to chisel your cheekbone jawline then you can add contour around that area. And you can also use darker shade concealer as your contour. Now after applying all the cream products you have to set everything so now I'm going to set my under eye with some loose setting powder and the one that I'm going to use is uh, wet n wild photo focus powder in shade banana. Now next step is to lock everything with the setting spray. This one is by Wet n Wild. It's a Wet n Wild Photo Focus 3 in 1 primer which will prep your skin, set and refresh your makeup. So your makeup doesn't move throughout the day. Now let's move on to the eyes but before that I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with this NYX Micro Brow Pencil. 
I'm just going to fill in the sparse area and also going to set my eyebrow hair with this e.l.f. eyebrow gel. For eye makeup, I kept it very simple. Uh, I'm going to create this monotone simple cut crease with some dab and blend method. And for that, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Color Icon eyeshadow palette in shade uh, Heart and Soul. So first, I'm going to dip it into this uh, peach shade and I'm going to apply that on my crease. Then I'm going to take this light brown shade and I'm going to intensify my crease further. Then with the dabbing brush, I'm going to start dabbing over this so it spreads out and it looks really nice and soft. Then I'm going to take this chocolate brown shade with this small blending brush and I'm going to intensify the outer um, corner of my eye. And I'm also going to apply this dark chocolate brown shade uh, on my crease and blend it out. Then using very little concealer, I'm going to mark the area where I want to cut the crease and I'm going to lightly clean up underneath. I'm going to dip it into this coppery shimmer shade and I'm going to apply it right on top of the concealer where we cut the crease. And I'm also going to neaten up a bit with this uh, brush. And as you can see how stunning that color is, you can build more if you like more sparkle. And I'm going to blend the edges one more time so it looks uh, more nice and soft. Then I'm going to take this um, gold shimmer shade and I'm going to highlight my brow bone and inner corner of my eye. Using the NYX Epic Ink Liner, I'm going to pull out a small wing and line my top lash line. It's optional but I'm going to line my waterline with some brown eye pencil and one that I'm using is by Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Redactable Gel Eyeliner. Then I'm going to take this chocolate brown shade one more time and I'm going to apply that on my lower lash line. I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some coats of mascara and the mascara that I'm going to use is by L'Oreal Paris Voluminous uh, Lash Paradise. And here is the completed eye look. How stunning that looks guys. It's really easy to um, pull this look off. Now to finish up the entire look, I'm going to use this uh, e.l.f. primer infused bronzer in shade Sun Kiss. And I'm going to set my cream contour. For blush, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. blush and highlight palette in shade pomegranate. So first I'm going to take this blush and I'm going to apply that on high points of my cheekbone. Now next step is to highlight and I'm going to highlight the higher points of my face. And for
for my lips i'm going to be using this dusty brown lipstick by wet n wild to keep the monotone theme in mind it is optional but i'm going to uh, apply the gloss on top and the one that i'm using is by elf this one is the lip plumping gloss and here is the easy glam makeup look it is so stunning and glamorous anybody can pull off this look as always i'm going to link all the products in the description box below so do check that out like share and subscribe to my channel if you are new here until next time love yourself help others and be grateful bye